Hey everyone, in today's quick little tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you how to save on the blue balls. Yeah, quick little pun out of the way. I'm talking specifically about the Cloud AI Learning Code Refactoring Permission Free, otherwise known by many as the blue balls, because that's essentially what they are when you look at it on screen. So we're going to be talking about how to save on them on your nano core and not waste quite so many and save them for a bit further down the road. So what exactly am I talking about here? Well, if we go into our fitting screen for our nano core and go into the nano core itself, ordinarily, when this obviously eventually loads, when we click on the icon, we can click reconstruct attributes right here to give ourselves a reroll. But we don't have to re-roll it using these blue balls when it's the first attribute. Further down the road, of course, we want to be using these for the second, third and fourth and so on secondary attributes. But the, fir the first one, we can re-roll without actually spending anything other than time. So if you're stuck in a position where you can't undock and you're watching Netflix or whatever, and you just want to be idly pressing buttons, yeah, this is a good enough time to do so. So what exactly am I talking about? So, of course, let's have a quick look. These are the different attributes I can get with this particular nano core. I'd like to see if I could get a little bit more cargo capacity. But of course, as you can see, I don't have sufficient blue balls. <laughs> I really can't take myself seriously with this episode to uh, be able to actually perform the reroll. So how do I do it? First and foremost, you need to detach your nano core by going back to, th to the nano core selection screen and clicking disassemble. Once you've disassembled it, you'll notice your ship no longer has the nano core effect to it. It is just plain. So we'll go into our hangar bay. Do, do, do. And what we're going to do now is repackage the nano core. Yes, we want to hit confirm. And now it's going to ask us to type in confirm. This is not quite so much an idle ability, unfortunately. There is a fair bit of effort that goes into it. Now that we've typed in confirm, we can select our nano core again and click fitting to get it to automatically fit to our current ship. We're going to skip through all of the dialogue and select the abilities that we want. In my case, I want the minimum scan radius because I'm using this ship for exploration. We'll skip into appearance customization. And I highly recommend when it comes to appearance customization that you just don't do any of the appearance customization because most of the time you're going to be wasting your time on this. Personally, if you want a customized appearance, use one of those consumable items that is specifically for changing the appearance of the nano core. Get this first secondary attribute exactly how you want it and then start playing around with the uh, customization with the appearance. That's the word I was looking for. God, it's too late in the evening for me to be figuring these things out. So, of course, now that we've refitted our nano core, we've only got our primary attribute set up at the moment, haven't we? So let's go and give ourselves our first roll as it was, because all we've done so far is reset the foundations for this ship. The foundations, I don't even know what word to use guys tonight, but there we go. So we've just filled up this particular slot again, and we're going to set it as active and see what we get. We've got warp speed. I'm not happy with warp speed because as we can see, I've got flight velocity, warp speed and normal cargo hold capacity. This ship is going to need cargo hold capacity. That's what I'm going for. So we'll run, run through this one more time just for those of you that missed it. And also because I want to end this video with something I actually want, but can't spend too much time on it. So let's hit disassemble as we did earlier. Disassemble isn't successful. So we'll head once again back to our inventory. And once again, we are going to select repackage. Once we hit repackage, we have to type in confirm and then press confirm. And now that it's repackaged, we select fitting again. Now it's highly recommended that if you have started upgrading the second of the secondary attributes, 
that you quite simply don't do any of what I'm doing right now. The reason being is you're going to lose a lot of investment in terms of nanonacore materials because any of the blue balls that you spent re-rolling attributes, you're not going to get any of those refunded to you. Any materials that were lost as unsuccessful parts of the upgrade process are also not going to get refunded to you. So yeah, this is not something that you're going to be able to do with your existing nanocores. Me personally, when it comes to nanocores such as my Coveter 2, my Balgorn, my Apocalypse Striker as it were, all of those I did not do this because I was unaware of this trick before. So now whenever I go back to those nanocores I have to spend those blue balls to re-roll the process. Which is a bit unfortunate, if I'd had enough foresight, I would have done all of this. I would have spent, you know, half an hour to an hour just doing this while watching television, just to get it exactly how I wanted it before I started really investing. So of course, let's have a look what it's going to be the second time around. So we'll hit training and just select this a few more times. Now, for those of you that are wondering, yes, in the near future, I'm going to do some more beginner-friendly Nanocore videos. But I just wanted to get these couple off my chest because that's what I wanted. 5.58 normal, normal cargo hold capacity. I'm happy with that. In fact, I didn't take note of what it was at the start of the video, but I would not be surprised if this was exactly where I started. But hey-ho, that is the end of this video, and I've just shown you how to... Uh, save your blue balls as it were for future roles. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear me talk about blue balls that little bit more, feel free to hit that subscribe button, it really does help. Until then, see you guys in the next video.